And thanks for joining us for Action News Live at 5. I'm Vanessa Vasconcelos. And I'm Nick Garcia. We're live on ABC 30, Hulu Live, and wherever you stream. Now to our other top story. New laws will impact how you purchase and carry firearms in the new year. These laws come into effect in the aftermath of mass shootings that have rocked the state and nation. While some say the laws will increase public safety, Action News reporter Gabe Ferris spoke with gun store managers and owners today who disagree. Gabe? Nick and Vanessa, I spoke with the store manager of this gun shop here behind me in Fresno. He told me that the new laws go too far. He said they aren't even needed in the first place. So this is my everyday carry. This is what I carry pretty much every single day. As a new state law affecting firearms goes into effect in less than a week, some local gun owners say it will soon be more complicated to carry a firearm in California. So right now you have to do an eight hour course and on the first it actually is going to double the course to 16 hours um, and then renewals are four hours and it's going to double to an eight hour course. Dakin Lott is the store um, manager of PRK Arms in Fresno. He says he's not necessarily opposed to more training but disagrees with other aspects of the law. Aside from doubling the hours of training needed, SB2 raises the age from 18 to 21 to get a permit for concealed carry weapons or CCW. The state law would also block people with CCW permits from bringing their firearms to some sensitive locations like playgrounds, churches, bars, and many other places. But a federal judge blocked that part of the law last week. In a statement to Action News, Governor Gavin Newsom said the judge's ruling is, quote, defying common sense, and he called it, quote, repugnant. California will keep fighting to defend our laws and to enshrine a right to safety in the Constitution. The lives of our kids depend on it, Newsom said in part. But at the firing line in Clovis, owner Jake Belemgian told Action News the current system isn't broken. You can ask any sheriff or chief of police uh, about the, the number of issues that they have with people who have permits, and it's, it's none or very, very, very few. Um, we're just not a motley crew. You know, we're, we're, we're not bad people. The firing line in PRK Arms also say another new law will impact their, their bottom line. So gonna... Starting July 1st, an 11% sales tax on ammunition and firearms will kick in. It will impact all ammo, including this box of bullets for rifles that lot showed Action News. The state says money from that new tax would fund school safety and gun violence prevention programs, but Palemgian thinks it will only prevent people from protecting themselves. If you live in a, in a bad neighborhood and you think that you need to defend yourself, maybe now they've just priced you out of the market because you can't afford to pay those fees to get a, to get a permit. Now, I also spoke with a sergeant at the Kings County Sheriff's Office today. He told me no matter how you feel about the new laws, it is important, he said, to handle guns responsibly. The sergeant also encouraged folks at home to reach out to local law enforcement if you have any questions about how the new laws impact you. Reporting live in East Central Fresno, Gabe Ferris, ABC 30 Action News.